Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I filmed because I just got back from vacation with my family and then we actually had to leave our vacation a little early because my daughter had a hockey tournament. I did post a couple, I think I posted two videos, but all of those were pre-filmed, so I think it's been about two weeks since I filmed a video, but I thought this would be a good video for the first video back because it is an Hermes unboxing. It is a wish list item. And I was trying to figure out the best way to do this because I know that for unboxings, people like to kind of just see the product and you know, you don't want to hear the backstory. So what I'm going to do, I will put a timestamp right here for when I actually do get to the unboxing, but it's very important that you hear the story, especially if you're someone who is interested in Hermes products and you kind of want to learn about it because I definitely do have a bit of a journey. So again, if you want to go right to the unboxing, I will put a timestamp down below but I feel like it's important for me to share with you the story. So I have never been able to find a good sales associate from Hermes. I have purchased bracelets from Hermes, I have a bunch of small leather goods, and I have either just not c connected or clicked with a sales associate, or I haven't gotten their card, or I have shopped online. I shopped recently online and I got a bracelet and I also got an Iran sandals and I was trying to get connected with a sales associate for those. I called the 1-800 number. They were going to put me in contact with a store and have someone contact me within 24 hours. No one ever did. So I ended up purchasing online. Now, when I did talk to the, the customer service lady, I asked her specifically, I said, are the online profiles and in-store profiles different? And she confirmed they were different, but she did say if you do find a sales associate, they can merge the two. So I knew that if I ever want to get a bag from Hermes, I definitely want to find a good sales associate, not just for a bag, but anything that I want. And specifically, this is the item for stuff. I am so excited about it. So I knew that, you know, my daughter had a hockey tournament. I knew that I was going to be going to an Hermes store. I don't live near an Hermes store, so I had a limited amount of time for this item and I was hoping when I went to the store that they would have this item and they did. I could not believe it. I will tell you that. So I had a limited amount of time. I took the truck. I went to this mall. I went to Hermes. So usually during the pandemic when I have gone there before I have been waiting in line. You wait in line just to get in the store and then once you get into the store you have to wait to get connected with the sales associate. Well to my surprise when I went to this mall there was no line. I walked right into the store and then they said a sales associate will be with you in just a moment and while I was walking around I saw the item that I wanted behind the glass. Now being someone who doesn't typically shop in Hermes a lot because I don't have a lot of stores around me other than when I went to Las Vegas and a couple of other stores, I didn't know if I could purchase the item behind the glass or if it was something that was just going to be a display. So I actually asked the security guard, I said, excuse me, is that an item I can actually purchase or is that something that's just kind of on display? And he's like, oh yeah, you can purchase it. So I was like, oh, and I got all excited and he kind of laughed. So anyway, then I got assigned a sales associate. And I said, she's like, hi, how can I help you? And I said, I'm really interested in this item behind the glass. And I asked her the same question, is that for sale? She's like, yes, absolutely. I can have you look at it. I was like, so excited. Like I could not believe that they had this piece. So let me share with you what the piece is and then I will continue with my story. Okay, so this is an item I have wanted for so, so long and I just could not believe they had it. I do have my Hermes receipt. I did buy it directly from the boutique and once I open it, I will share with you all of the information. Okay, and the item I got is the, the Kelly Pocket Wallet. This is in, and let me take all of the felt off. This is in mauve pale. Now, I love mauve Sylvester. I actually brought a mauve Sylvester piece and it is right here so you can see the difference. This is a little more pinky lavender. This is more of a light pink. The problem with this one is you're really, I'm gonna really try to see if I can insert a clip so you can get a true 
view of the color. It is just absolutely stunning. She only had one in store. This is exactly what I wanted. I am definitely a card girl. So I could not believe she had this. This is a wallet I have wanted for such a long time, but I just haven't had a chance to go into the store and really see it. And I want to give a special thank you to Miss Leva. She actually recently purchased one in the beautiful gold. If you haven't checked out her channel, make sure to do so. But I was actually messaging back and forth with her just kind of asking her questions and she sent me so many you know she was so helpful she sent me so many pictures and she answered any of the questions I had about it because you know if you're going to invest the money in an item like this you want to make sure that you know all there is about the item and I think for me this is going to be perfect because as you know I am a, a cards girl so the, the thing that attracted me to this is I love this little Kelly lock here. You may be able to tell based off the bracelets I've gotten. I have two wrap bracelets, regular Kelly wrap, and then I have like the mini Kelly wrap bracelet. And I just love the lock. I've always been attracted to this lock. So this color is, Ma I'm sorry, see, I'm getting so excited. I'm like all over the place. So please excuse me. This is mauve pale. That is the color. And this is in the goat skin. And I will tell you guys, this was an expensive wallet. This is by far the most I have ever paid for a wallet, so I definitely think I, I am going to sell a couple of my items, so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I haven't decided if I'm gonna share that on Instagram or if I'm gonna do a vlog sale because I do have a couple, I'll probably do a vlog sale because I do have a couple items I wanna sell just because I have purchased a lot of small leather goods, and of course I'm a collector, but this one is probably the most expensive expensive wallet I have ever purchased. I was actually a little like taken back when she told me the price of it, but I did go in there for this wallet and it was in the color I wanted. Now, I do love Mauve Sylvester. I asked her, I said, what are the chances of getting this wallet in Mauve Sylvester or Celeste, which is that beautiful blue? And she looked and she said, there's no inventory in any store, so it would be very hard to get. So she's like, the fact that you want this wallet is a shade of pink. She said, colors are very difficult to get in this wallet. So I'm like, I knew I had to jump on it. So anyway, I apologize for being all over the place. I'm just so excited. But I want to give another thank you to May or Miss Leva. She was so helpful. Very, very sweet. So thank you so much, May, for answering all of my questions. I'm so excited about it. So this is goat skin and you open it and you can see there is a, a large compartment here and what I plan to do is put most of my cards there and then maybe fold up a little bit of cash close it like that and then on the back it does have this little lock which has a protective covering now and then you can open this and you can use it for change if you want I'm not going to use it for change because I do already have a Bastia this is what I use for change so what I might just do is put more cards in the back like maybe I'll put my store credit cards and then I'll put my major credit cards or maybe I'll put cash I haven't quite decided how I'm going to use it but I definitely will share that with you guys once I do decide but it is is so beautiful so while I was in there so let's continue with the story while I was in there she said is there anything specific that you're looking for and I said well I have to tell you I am NOT really into getting a Birkin or a Kelly at the moment she said oh thank you so much I'm so glad you said that she said everybody wants a Birkin or a Kelly and where I do think Birkins and Kelly's are beautiful classic bags I'm just not really there are a couple other bags I'd like to get before that and she said well what bag have you, are you interested in? I said, well, I've always been interested in the Evelyn bag. And she said, well, what size? And I said, the TPM or the one size bigger. And I said, what are the chances of getting that bag in mauve sylvester which is the beautiful pink and she said well again it's an older color the chances are going to be very minimal. I said, okay, what about Celeste? And she said, no. So I, she's like, what is another color? I said, well, I think black would be good for me because I do wear a lot of black. I think it would be a good casual bag. So she said, I might have one. So she's like, let me go to the back. And she brought me a black one. She didn't have the TPM, which is the smaller size. I will put a little clip of when I tried the TPM, but I really don't think the TPM would be a good size for me because I think it was a little too small for me. So she brought me the next size up. I tried it on. I will tell you, I was so tempted to get this bag because I thought, oh, it's gonna fit my casual lifestyle. But 
I just purchased my Dior bag and before that I purchased my Louis Vuitton Cousin bag and one thing I always tell you guys is of course we love luxury purchases but you never want to buy a bag if you don't have the money put away for it and I always have a separate account for handbags you know specifically for handbags the so one thing I always preach to you guys if you don't have the money you don't get it so there's no way I could have gotten this and that bag especially since I just bought that so you know I started thinking about it and I was like you know what I just I'm still on the fence because that bag I think would be so great it's so casual but I feel like it's still a little too big I wish there was a size in between the TPM and the size that I had but one thing I have to tell you the leather on the Evelyn bag was so soft everybody talks about the leather from Hermes it is so true. If you get a chance to, to feel those bags, it's so soft and supple. And when I wore it, it was so comfortable. I had gone in and I was wearing my Odeon PM. So ironically, that was very similar to the Evelyn bag in the shape. And I love my Odeon PM, but that Evelyn bag was so comfortable. So, so, so comfortable. So I told the lady, I said, thank you so much. I said, I, you know, I might think about it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get that. Because obviously, like I said, I did just buy bags and I don't want to get myself in it, you know, and you don't want to like overspend, especially if you don't have the money saved for it. So I ended up just getting this, but I wanted to ask you get your feedback on the Evelyn bag if you guys do own it. Maybe it will be a bag that I get in the future. I'll tell you, it's very casual, so I feel like it would fit my lifestyle. Um, it was so comfortable to wear. That's the thing that stood out to me. It was so comfortable. I love the fact that it had a pocket for your phone, and the fact that she had one in stock was just amazing. So maybe it's a bag I will consider. When I told you guys on Instagram that I had purchased something, a lot of you, I think, were thinking I bought a bag, which you guys, I would have been so naughty if I did. Like I said, I've already been naughty this year, but this wallet... I just had to. It was so pretty, so stunning. I cannot wait to wear it. And like I said, once I've had it for a little bit, I will share with you like the ways that I plan to use it. But I will insert a little clip of how I think I'm going to use it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like cards in here. And then on the back, I think I'm going to put cards there or maybe some cash as well. But I just love this little lock right here i think it is so so beautiful in this color i mean it is just so lovely now the only thing i'm a little on the fence about is because this is a light pink and i'm going to use it as a wallet i do worry a little bit about color transfer i have sprayed bags before but i am nervous i don't know if i should spray this just because it is so beautiful i don't want to ruin it in any way but oh my god if you could see the color you guys it was so meant to be everything worked out from wanting this wallet going in not having to wait in line seeing this wallet behind the glass it was like a oh, moment i will insert a clip of like what i saw and then i met a sales associate we really hit it off she was super super nice and she said to me and it made me feel good she said and you're so kind and you're such a pleasure to deal with she said you would be amazed the number of rude people that we get, which I think is extremely uncalled for. I mean, especially, she said the people come in and they just demand Birkins, they demand Kellys, and they're so rude. She said, I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm kind of used to it by now, but it's always a pleasure when you come across somebody who's actually very nice. And she could also see my excitement and she was kind of laughing because, I mean, I, I was excited to the security guard, I was excited to her, and everybody knows if there's been something you've wanted for a long time and you see it, you're just like, oh my god, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, and it just worked out really, really good, and I was able to make it back um, for my daughter's game, and she had a hat trick, I was so, my, my daughter plays hockey, she did such a good job, so it was a great, great day, it really was, but I think some of you did think I got a bag, I did not, but I was blessed to get this beautiful pocket Kelly wallet and there really aren't a ton of reviews out there about this so um, if you're interested please stay tuned make sure you're subscribed because I definitely will do a video once I've used it for a while but yeah I'm just I'm so over the moon I'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well and let me know your thoughts what do you think about my new wallet do you like it I just I think it's so neat it's so cool 
I have um, the Bastia, I also have the Calvi, um, and then I have some bracelets from Hermes, but I've always wanted this with the Kelly Luck. I also saw, I will insert a picture, this was another one that was on my radar. It was the longer wallet, right, and it still had the Kelly Luck. The Kelly Luck is what drew me to this and it was beautiful it was in like a celeste color but I thought you know I use compact wallets a little more than I do longer wallets but that one was cute and it was so pretty but it was very very expensive I saw that one online I will link it down below in case you guys are interested so then that way someone else can buy it so I don't but I think this will definitely work with my lifestyle a little bit better since I am a card girl compact wallet girl what oh, so pretty this color is just to die for so thank you guys for coming along I apologize again if this was a little bit of a chatty video, but I wanted to make sure I told you the whole story because I did do a video probably a couple months back where I didn't really have the best Hermes experience. So I have been searching and searching and searching for a good sales associate and I think I, I, I definitely found one. So in the future, if there is ever something I want, I can go to her. And she did explain to me, she said, you know, so she's like, I try to be choosy with who I pick as clients as well. So my recommendation to you is if you're interested in items, you definitely have to make the time to go into the store and connect with someone. It might take a couple of tries like it did for me, but this lady was super nice and she was able to get me what I needed. So I was so happy about that. So again, thank you guys again for coming along with me and thank you again to the lovely Miss Lee for sharing with me all of your thoughts on this wallet you really helped me I knew this was a wallet that I wanted but you helped answer my questions and I do appreciate it so much so thank you guys again for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video